So welcome back to another Gibbs adventure and today I'm making lure out of my garage. So I make it basically out of mice and I add a few other things to it but uh, I use sodium bezonite to stabilize it and then I'll put some glycerin in it as, as I uh, go along and at the end I do finish it outside because I put in uh, skunk uh, uh, quill socks and they have a pretty strong order and I got in big trouble for making it in my garage which is attached to my house last year so I'm relegated to doing it outside so today was plus one so I decided I'd finish up the, the lure because I want to make it a uh, run tomorrow I'm a big believer in using lure in the winter time I tend generally to trap in the winter time when it's a little bit later and colder and I like a call lure it really helps uh, bring the animals over to my set and then I use beaver meat for bait most of the time and that's what uh, does the trick but a good call lure works really good. When you're buying lure, I usually buy always a four ounce bottle or bigger because I use a lot of lure when I'm, when I'm trapping because I'm trapping in the cold. So uh, it's big savings for me if I make my own lure. So you'll follow along and you'll see what I'm making out to, today. I collect mice all summer in my day job and uh, freeze them in a bag and then I save them up until I have uh, 50 or 60 and then I grind them up. I have two different grinding blades. I, I pass them through the grinder a couple of times. I turn them into a little pasty mush and then I add usually a squirrel in and then a couple other ingredients. So I grind it twice, it's mostly mice, I threw a squirrel in and then I got a bit of bacon grease and I, I'll put my call lure in later and I'll put some stabilizer in it so it doesn't uh, all uh, go moldy on me. I've already grinded up about 50 mice into a paste. These are oil sacks, or skunk sacks with the quill removed but there's still quite a bit of smell in them and I always save them for making lure. And, uh, so I'm, I'm adding a, an empty sack, a couple of empty sacks into, into my mix here. And it, that's what gives my lure the long distance call. And I'm doing it outside because last time I did it inside, it didn't go over very well. So I'm relegated to the outside here. Mom's still going to be pretty mad that it smells when she gets home. No, I, that's why I got the other stuff. I have the juice. I have the skunk, skunk roll stuff that I'll spray in there. So the two things that I add into the uh, to lure is uh, sodium bezonite and that stabilizes it, it stops it from molding and then I use, I add some glycerin in it and the glycerin what it'll do is it stops it from freezing in the cold weather so try to keep it a liquid. And of course the secret ingredients of all once I'm all done is when I add my uh, skunk uh, quill sacks which I extract all the quill and sell it but I save all my quill sacks that are left over and that's what I grind into my lure. So when I'm finished mixing it, I store it in a container and I put it inside another container because it really uh, can stink up the garage which is attached to my house, it doesn't go over well. And then I put it in four ounce jars like this and that's how I use it out on the trap line. And if I don't find it strong enough I'll add pure quill to it, Just I have always pure quill on hand so I'll add some pure uh, skunk quill to it. But uh, a four ounce jar like this is usually worth upwards of 20 plus dollars. So I make enough so that I can do it for the rest of the winter. It saves me probably a couple hundred bucks a year by making my own lure like this. So hopefully you enjoyed it. 
and uh, just a little tip is if it's not strong enough smelling I'll add to it so there you go Jim's homemade lure so my homemade call lure is what I use for catching martin and fisher on my trap line